Do you know that some plants in the world are also carnivorous? This is 100% true. Do you know that there is a plant which even eats snakes? Do you know any plant which can crush even your hand if you touch it? So what are these plants and where are they found? To know all this, you must watch this video completely. Number 10 Jungle Lantern Now look at this plant, its name itself is Jungle Lantern. Don't know whether it even gives light or not. These plants are found in the forests of Brazil and Central America. To a great extent, it looks similar to the aloe vera plant. But there is a substance like white powder applied on their green body. Which is actually wax. On which bugs and small insects get trapped and this plant licks their roots with its digestive juices. Well, the yellow flowers of this plant look quite beautiful. Because of which people also call this plant yellow strap plant. Actually this plant is quite beautiful. Number 9 Cobra Lily. Look at this plant, it seems as if a wild snake is sitting with its hood spread and its tongue out. At first I was scared after seeing this flower that it might actually be a snake but there is no need to be afraid. It is a flowering plant which hunts and eats small insects. Actually, this is a very rare plant, which is found only in the cool places of California City of America. Where insects are available in abundance to eat. These plants appear in red and green colors. Attracted by their beauty, creatures start hovering near them and enter inside them. From where there is no way out. This flower is filled with liquid inside. Where the captured insects gather and this flower chews them up. This flower is very cruel because as soon as any creature enters it, the flower closes the lid on its mouth. And there are many hole-like designs made in its body from where people try to escape but slip and ultimately fall into the liquid below. To me, this flower really seems no less than a snake. Number 8 Biblis. This is a plant which people also call rainbow plant. By the way, its flowers look quite beautiful. But the logic behind calling it a rainbow plant is that when sunlight falls on its bushes during the day, they shine in beautiful colors and it looks as if a small, cute rainbow is attached to the ground. But due to its beauty, never try to catch it with your hands because what you see as its bushes are actually thorns. Yes, those are the bites which small creatures lose their lives by touching. Now look, this plant has some structure like a lid or a jug, otherwise this plant drops a sweet liquid on the ground. Small insects and moths go to drink its juice and then the work is over. This juice is actually glue on which insects stick as soon as they sit on it and then they have no choice but to die. But they do not eat that dead insect but instead feed other types of insects which eat these hunted creatures and poop near the plant and this plant takes nutrition from that poop. Baba oh baba, this plant is the beetle nut killer. Number 7 Trigger Plant. Now look at this plant, it looks beautiful, exactly like lavender flowers, but my brother, this beautiful plant is also literally a killer. They release a sweet liquid like water from their stars which attracts small insects and when the insects sit on the liquid, their breathing immediately stops and the kids die. The trigger plant digests these dead organisms. Now if we talk about its unique name, it got the name trigger plant because as soon as the bumblebees sit right in the middle of the flower, its petals cover them from all sides and immediately two thread-like structures emerge from the side of the flower and these it drops fine seeds of the flower on the body of the flowers and when these bumblebees sit on another flower, the thread-like sting comes out again and takes the scattered seeds and inserts new ones. So that the pollination process of these flowers continues and these flowers keep blooming. The interesting thing is that this flower covers the worlds very lovingly and gently and leaves it after pollination is done. However, these plants are found only in the forests of Australia. Number 6 Bladderworts. This plant is completely headless and grows and blooms in water. Hey, I am not kidding, I am telling the truth. This plant has no roots, just a stem and yellow flowers on it. Although this beautiful looking flower is a big hunter. As soon as water insects come in contact with them, they immediately put them on the heads of their flowers and their bladders spread inside the water and this plant digests these things. By the way, small fishes living inside the water gnaw on these flowers and also live in them. These plants are found in small ponds. Number 5 Origula. Seeing this plant you will also start thinking that it is a rainbow plant but it is not so. Firstly, the plant is found only in South Africa and secondly, it does not deliberately hunt anyone to fill its stomach. Its bushy leaves secrete a glue called razor, on which small insects sometimes stick. R. In such a condition, they either die of hunger or thirst or become food for others. And poor Origula remains infamous. There has been a time when some species of Origula have been maligned by calling them man-eating plants, but this is not true. Well, one thing is that when an insect gets trapped by sitting on them, then other organisms eat the trapped organism and poop, which is the next process for these plants. Friends, it was okay to eat soil and flesh of plants but they also eat potty. Number 4 Butterworts. Now let's talk about another beautiful water flower plant, 
This plant is found only in water pits in the forested areas of America. Looking at them it is difficult to understand where is the leaf and where is the flower. They are very smooth in appearance and their petals also have wax on them, to which small creatures stick and die and then this leafy flower presses them inside itself and eats them. However, the most special thing about this plant is that its flowers are pollinated only by hummingbirds and these flowers do not cause any harm to the beautiful hummingbirds. Number 3 Sundew Plant Look at these beautiful flowers, how lovely they look, but do you know how dangerous their beauty is? Let us tell you. In fact, these flowers make everything from crawling insects to flying flies and insects their prey. Yes! Their beautiful and colorful appearance is the root of all the trouble. Bees, bumblebees, and small insects spread all around them and get trapped in the web of their beauty, they get paralyzed as soon as they touch them, then this flower surrounds them from all sides and sucks their nutrients and breaks down the remaining ones. Throws the broken body down. See, these beautiful and innocent looking flowers are so cruel. But the heart attack is yet to come because 144 different types of sundew, which is also called dry syrup plant, have been discovered so far. And all of them are poisonous and predatory. Number 2 Venus Flytrap The Venus Flytrap plant is found naturally in the native forests of North America. This beautiful-looking plant is a clever hunter and spreads its petals to trap its prey which emits a pleasant fragrance. But these petals serve as a weapon for them and their fragrance serves as a trap for insects. As soon as small insects or flies hovering around sit on its petals, the Venus fly trap closes its petals and slowly starts digesting the trapped kit. Once hunted, their petals open after about a week. By the way, a Venus fly trap hunts six to eight times in its life and then dies. Number 1 Pitcher Plant Now let's talk about a unique and most dangerous predatory plant which looks exactly like a lidded jug and that is why scientists named it pitcher plant. If we look at this flower, its color and design are very similar to the raw meat of animals. Due to which many carnivorous insects get attracted towards it and lose their lives. Now you will say that then how do small herbivorous insects get trapped? So the answer is that the sweet fragrance emanating from this flower is used to trap these innocent insects. Yes friends, and in this way this plant preys on both juice-sucking and meat-eating small creatures. However, these plants are found only in some forests of America and Asia and are considered very rare. You won't believe it, but some flowers of the pitcher plant grow up to one foot tall and even big creatures like lizards prey on small snakes and chameleons. But these plants do not hunt creatures like frogs, spiders, and ants. So how did you like this deadly plant? Do tell us in the comment section. Friends, till date you must have seen only white colored eggs, but have you seen blue colored eggs or green colored eggs? Now click on this video and watch it, it is a very interesting video, 